Hi, I'm Jay Lewis, here once more with the shortcuts. Like usual, thinking on first time users, this tutorial is mostly for those who bought this hardware new or used and need some help with the configuration and registration or just need to unregister the device to be re-registered with their own account without having to do a factory default. Assuming that you have the intention to use the device with all the limitations or before attempting a jailbreaking. For advanced users, look on my channel 2Shortcuts or my website 2Shortcuts.com, the other jailbreaking tutorials, skipping these basic steps and showing you way to freedom. First step. The first step is to create an Amazon account. It will only take you a few seconds and is completely free. You can do this from your mobile device or from your PC. In this example, I'll be using a PC. So, using the web explorer of your preference, search for Amazon, click on the link, and once on the website, select your language if you need to, then click on account on list, and for new users, click on start here, then select a name, input the email you want to use, and, and a strong password of 6 characters or more. Something hard to guess, but easy for you to remember. For a fail-proof password, just write it down. Second step. As you already have created the account, connect your Fire TV stick to any available HDMI port behind your TV. In this example, I will be using HDMI 4. Now, select the same HDMI input or source on your TV screen matching where the Fire TV was connected behind the TV. Because I used the HDMI 4 behind the TV as an example, I will select the same input on the screen, clicking the input button on the TV remote control. Sometimes could be labeled HDMI, source, game, or auxiliary. Just remember this button may also be on the TV frame along with some other function buttons. Now connect the 5 TV stick to power and you should see on the screen the device booting up. Now follow the instructions in your language to pair the remote so we can continue with the internet connection and complete the registration and configuration. For this keep the remote close to the Fire TV holding the house button for at least 10 seconds until it is detected. Once detected on pair, click the pause play button to start. Now select your language. Here you choose the Wi-Fi network you want to be connected to. Enter the password. And if the information was correct, the Amazon Fire TV stick will auto-update and then we'll be ready for the next step, which is the registration. Now Click on I already have an account if you created the account as we did on the first step, unless you want to create a new account. Now to complete the registration, enter your Amazon login ID and password. The login ID should be the email you use to create the account and the password, hopefully you still remember it. Now click sign in and the device will try to register. If there was no problem with the registration, then select continue as the user registered. In this example, myself. Here you will choose if you want Amazon to save your password to easy syncing of the applications and functions. In my case, I'm not interested, so I will click nope. Neither I need to activate parental control. But, if you have a Prime account and you want to protect the account with a password, I recommend you to do it after completing the jailbreaking because it's very tedious to input the password repeatedly through the whole process. Now, Amazon will show you an introductory video that you can fast forward if you like by just pressing the fast forward button and then choose to install a streaming application if you like to, but you can also do that later. So I will click no. As you may have noticed, uh, you already complete the initial setup for a normal use of your Fire TV stick. 
Now look at my channel to shortcuts or website to shortcuts.com. There are all the tutorials to unleash the power of your Fire TV. Once again, thanks for watching. And remember to help by sharing the video or leaving your questions or suggestions in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe and to come back for more here at the shortcuts or to shortcuts.com. Goodbye.